Hi, my name is Glenn Choi A. Akayen, a third-year BSEC student, together with my partner, Brian Chris R. Duhenya, also a third-year BSEC student of Negros Oriental State University. Today, we are going to present to you a research proposal entitled Automatic Fair Collection System. Introduction In developed and developing countries, there is rapid and mass transit of a large number of passengers and to handle such mass, Efficient and proper fare collection plays a very important role. AFC systems or automatic fare collection systems have been accepted worldwide for the metro environment. There are many benefits of automatic fare collection systems over manual collection system such as it requires less number of stops, frauds can be avoided, less leakage of revenue, and etc. Automatic fare collection is easy and efficient to operate. By application of AFC system, a stable and integrated platforms can make keep flow of passengers to run smoothly at peak hours. Our AFC system ensures fast transactions with the use of QR codes on your personal smartphones and tablets. Electronic mode of payment reduces the chances of theft as what occurs in physical currency. All of these advantages of AFC system if implemented in a city improves the image of the city and increases the convenience of transportation, therefore, make the life better and easy of people dwelling at that place. Compared to the traditional manual fare collection system that has manual labor, physical currencies involved, personal transaction of payment, but we have downsides of these manual fare collection systems such as it requires many stuff, it is time consuming, prone to theft and fake currencies, may cause traffic commotion in the road, and discomfort to passengers that are in a hurry to reach their destination. So, with the fast evolving technological advancement nowadays, it is a trend to cope up with this and utilize it for better, more comfortable, and efficient way of living. This study aims to address the rapid growth of mass transit by implementing the automatic fare collection system in such a way to ease the hassle of transportation. Hi, I'm Brian Chris Ardhinia, and this is our statement of the problem. Particularly, this study aims to answer the following questions. 1. What is the average number of commuter students from MC1 to MC2 daily? Two. What is the average time to finish manual fare collection in each trip for an easy ride? 3. How much is the total cost of installing AFCS or automatic fare collection system gadgets in every easy ride? And 4. How much time does this AFCS implementation be saved compared to manual fare collection? And lastly, we have... Number five, how effective does this AFCS is for statement of the problem? So for the significance of the study, the results of this study will be beneficial to the Israel drivers throughout Mahong Pandan to Negros Oriental State University, Main Campus 2, students and other teachers of Negros Oriental State University, and other researchers. So for the Israel drivers, this study will help the Israel drivers in efficiently hassle-free and less time consumption in collecting the fare of the passengers. This study will also benefit in ensuring and avoiding fraud and fake currencies. This will also help accidents like robbery since the payment for the fare is electronically transferred thus having the carjackers take nothing from the driver. For the students and other teachers who takes public transportation going to the main campus too will also benefit this study since AFC systems enable faster, time-efficient, hassle-free, and secure mode of payment. Despite of mass commuters, this AFC system will ensure to accommodate and serve functions at a higher rate compared to traditional fare collection system. Students and teachers will never again complain about being stuck in paying manually and having problems in finding the exact amount of payment to the drivers. So for the other researchers, 
This study will also be useful to researchers who are currently studying and planning to study related to this kind of system, which is automatic fair collection system. Although the scope of this study is just only for a specific route, but the information herein and relevant results can be their guide in developing their own study. So scope and limitation of the study. This study to be conducted will only cover the Paradahan to Bahom Pandan to main campus 2 of Negros Oriental State University Rock. So the pro uh, easy ride vehicles of the said road will be used as the participants of the study for the reason that it is one of the roads mostly accessed by the researchers and the students of engineering and criminology courses. So, next is we have two to three estimated months to be completed. So, the proposed study will have two to three estimated months to be completed. So, automatic fare collection system that is applicable to the series buses that has numerous routes and has different fair value will no longer be part of the proposed study. Uh, this can be included in the recommendation for further studies. Then, it is with the time frame of the class days on either of the month of August to May. So, it is with the time frame of the class days for an easy observations and revisions of the researchers. Then, the estimated cost that easy ride drivers or owners will cater is just 10 pesos for the printed QR code. Uh, this is a sticker paper. Uh, the, st uh, the QR code will be printed in the sticker paper. And then it, is, it, was, paint, uh, it was pasted in every corner of the easy ride. So according to price price.com there is a smartphone that costs 2000 to 4000 and this kind of smartphone is capable of doing and processing information needed for the system definition of terms in order to have common understanding of the words used in this particular research the following words are defined as follows efcs or automatic fair collection system it is a system involving electronics and digital components in order to fully automate the fair collection system. Gcash application. Gcash is an app that you can install on any of your devices, be it in a smartphone or a tablet. It allows you to pay your bills, purchase goods and services, and even send money or receive money wherever you are. QR code. A QR code is a pattern of black and white squares that can be read by a smartphone, allowing the phone user to get more information about something. QR code is an abbreviation for quick response code. Next is the QR code scanner. A QR code scanner is an optical scanning device that is able to read QR codes. Most tablets and smartphones have built-in QR code scanners in their cameras. That means you can likely point your camera at a QR code and be able to scan and read it. Next is the traditional fare collection or manual fare collection system. It is the practice of collecting fares manually without the aid of any automated machine. So the theoretical framework of the study. This study is out from the theory that sending and receiving payment can be through QR codes. QR codes which stands for Quick Response Codes was invented in 1994 by Japanese company Denso Wave. This is according to Kaspersky 2021. So the QR code is a type of barcode interpreted by a digital, di di digital device or a smartphone accumulates information as a series of pixels in a square-shaped square grid. Accumulating loads of data can be accomplished through QR codes. So this is again according to Kaspersky 2021. So here is the picture of QR code. Figure 1 showing the picture of QR code.
So the QR code allows the users to access, to access the information right away. They work on the way that the patterns within QR codes signify binary codes that can read to reveal the code's data. The three large square, uh, the three large squares outside the QR code is the basis for identifying a standard QR code that can be interpreted by the QR reader. So as, you, as we can see here, uh, there is uh, three larger squares at the three corners of the, of the QR code. So the reader then analyzes the QR code by breaking the whole thing down into a grid, an individual grid squares, then look up to and assign each one whether it is black or white, then groups grid squares to develop a larger pattern. So this is according to Kaspersky 2021. So the conceptual framework of the study. This study is fastened with the concept that automate, automated fair collection with the use of QR code is an effective way of fair collection and is efficient in saving the time allotted for fair collection. So here in figure 2 is the conceptual framework for the automatic fair collection, the efficient way. So at at the upper uh, at at the top we have the QR code or the passenger's Gcash account. Then to the QR code then to the driver's or owner's Gcash account. So as a replacement for traditional fare collection, the figure 2 shows that uh, the QR code reader usually uh, smartphone of the passenger is linked with their Gcash accounts. Then the QR codes will then be scanned then directly transfers the payment from the passenger's account so here uh, at the at the top we have the passenger's account to the driver's or owner's account so directly from passenger's gcash account then from scanning the qr code and it is directly sent to the driver's or owner's gcash account this will be the conceptual framework of the study that will utilize to answer the call for a hassle and inefficient way of fair collection. So the review of related literature and studies. The manual fair collection that is presently utilized is time consuming and is inconvenient for the students as well as to the easy ride drivers. The researchers believe, me and my co-researcher believe that the automatic fare collection system is the best solution for this dilemma. So here are some of our related literature. So automa automated fare collection system offers pri uh, precise and reliable means of public transportation as well as effective fare collection that leads to contributing towards stable and productive business. Contactless smart card with IC chip controlled equipment has been developed by NEC to transit agencies such as bus and railway operators so neck no day then bus rail ferry road toll parking fast food establishments and convenience stores payment can be made possible with automatic fare collection afc system called tap to pay the city's convenience on transport system and establishments would increase radically and living would be easier and more comfortable. So this is according to Advanced Card Systems 2021. So all in all, it's a win-win situation between the students and the ESRE drivers in terms of accuracy and time efficient that the AFCS technology may brought. In addition, fair dodging commuters can also be avoided. Research methodology. The design and development of the proposed automatic fare collection system was done in a very systematic way. 
The researchers orderly follows the idea in order to make the system fully operational and useful. Step 1. Acquiring all the components of the proposed AFCS. This includes smartphones or tablets and the generated QR code of each of the ACRI drivers. Step 2. Installation of the required components of the AFCS. Gcash app must be installed in your smartphones or tablets and the generated QR code must be placed accessible in each of the ACRIs of the drivers. Step 3. Was the amount transferred accurate? Step 4. Test to check the proposed AFCS is working properly and accurately. With the technological advancement we have today, the researchers have chosen to use smartphones or tablets that has the ability to install the Gcash application and can be able to scan the QR code generated and printed by the driver. After the passenger scan the QR code, it will direct to how much amount of money you will pay then the passengers will just input the exact amount of fare rate. After the isolation of the printed QR code of the driver in the easy ride and the passenger, which are the students and teachers have also downloaded the Gcash application, then the system is ready for operation. That's all for our research proposal. This is the A-Team, Kenshin Ayakain, and Brian Chris Ardomenia. Thank you and have a nice day.